through our hive. So here we're getting a close-up shot of the... Uh, huh? I'm just talking to the camera. <laughs> Right, right. Here we're getting a, a close-up shot of the bees clinging to the comb, which we will begin cutting away from the roof as soon as the hive has been prepared. We're rubbing, we're rubbing the hive down with, with lemongrass, which contains a, a chemical citral which is one of the main components of the marking pheromone that bees use to uh, give the give their home the scent of of home of home scent of home <laughs> mm. so what we've been doing is tying little little uh, hammock little cloth hammocks mm -hmm. around and Ali, can you maybe cut these, take the, take the knife and cut these uh, two top strings off? Yeah. So what we've got is like a little hammock that supports the, uh, supports the comb. Right. And then we've got one little piece of monofilament fishing line around the side to keep it uh, around the transverse face to keep it uh, from flopping out and the reason why we're keeping it upside down is what do you mean keeping it upside down no, so that uh, we have turned the, the top bars upside oh okay. it's because um, with the on these on this top bar design there's a there's an actual wooden flange here right sir. and uh, We've, no cut the, we've cut the comb, yes, we've cut the comb straight across, so if we were to put it up against here, right, then uh, it would be too wobbly. Right. So we've, we've placed it's it along the way. flat side, right? right. So since we've put it in the, uh, in the center of the, we've placed the comb so that it is in the center of the top bar, right, it, it replaces the need for having the, the guide. Yes, sir. Huh? Let's come back. Yes. Okay, go on. Then, if you want, you can you can you can stand in the face like you did. Right. If you want, let me pour in and then let them cluster again. Look. Put on the light, put the touch light. I should put it up. Yes, okay. Let me it help you. Fly. Let me help you empty it. Oh, it just maybe. Okay. Let me look to see whether we'll get a pin. Yes. Well, here's the results of our efforts seen in the morning light. The uh, what we wound up doing was hanging the uh, hanging the hive from the eaves, and you see the bees are flying around. I popped in about 5:30 this morning and uh, wiped some of the bees that had clustered on the rafters above the hive into the into the nest so they're a bit agitated from that. So I'll just see if I can maybe get a get a view on the uh, on the bees clustered up inside there. Go to night shot. Yeah you can see them in there. Not a lot of focus, but that's the uh, the bees clustered up inside. <laughs>